And the next category is consistent liquidity management. The nominees are Mr. Ambarish Raghuvanshi, Info Edge India Limited. Rohitash Gupta, E Clerk Services Limited. And Surain Jain, Jay Prakash Power Ventures Limited. And the winner is Mr. Ambarish Raghuvanshi from Info Edge India Limited. then we come to consistent liquidity management large companies let's move on to the nominees mr manoj maheshwari bajaj hindustan limited then it's mr r shrinivasan torrent pharmaceuticals limited r shankar ramar larson and tubro limited and the winner is it is mr r shankar raman from larson and tubro Unfortunately, Mr. Shankar Raman uh, could not be here with us tonight. May I request Mr. K. R. Palcha, advisor to the chairman, to take the award on his behalf. on to the next category which is best transformation agent we'll start from the mid sized companies and let's see the nominees the nominees are ts raj gopalan vapco tvs india limited mr amit b jain zydus wellness limited and mr l kishore babu dvs laboratories limited and the winner is mr l kishore babu dvs laboratories limited Best Transformation Agent, Large Companies. Let's move on to the nominees. Mr. Ravi Sood, Hero Motor Corp Limited. Mr. A.K. Mukherjee, Excite Industries Limited. Mr. Kailash C. Birla, Ultra Tech Cement Limited. And the winner is Mr. A.K. Mukherjee, Excite Industries Limited. Move on to the next category, ladies and gentlemen, the best CFO of an MNC. Let's start from the mid-sized companies, and the nominees are Mr. T. G. Butch, Procter and Gamble Hygiene and Healthcare Limited, Mr. Yogesh Dhingra, Blue Dart Express Limited, and Virginie Bushina, Sanofi India Limited. And the winner is for Mr. Yogesh Dhingra. Blue Dart Express Limited. Now it's time for us to move on to the best CFO of an MNC large companies. And the nominees are Mr. Rajiv Batra. Cummins India Limited, Mr. R. Sridhar Hindustan Unilever Limited, Mr. Ramakrishnan Subramanian Glaxo Smith Klein Consumer Healthcare Limited. The winner is R. Sridhar Hindustan Unilever Limited. Congratulations. I think this award is a recognition of uh, the contributions of the finance team in Hindustan Unilever Limited to the performance of the company and I'd really like to uh, thank and acknowledge uh, the contribution of the entire finance team uh, in both the success of the business and in the recognition that has been bestowed today. Let's move on.
on to the next category which is best CFO of a PSU and the nominees are Mr. Ram Singh Engineers India Limited, Mr. Manish Seth Gujarat State Petronet, Lavanya Kulshrest Gujarat Mineral Development Corporation and the winner is Ram Singh Engineers India Limited. So no, it's a great, uh, you know, uh, achievement, and it's a great, uh, you know, for my team. It's, it's a great, uh, you know, uh, motivation for them. You know. Actually, we have been trying to sustain a very profitable growth, you no, know, growth with profit. So over the last six years, we have grown at the rate of 28 percent on the top line, and 26 percent on the bottom line. You know. And now let's move on to the best CFO for PSU in large companies. The nominees are. Mr. T.K. Anand Kumar, Oil India Limited. Mr. P.K. Bajpai, BHEL Limited. And Mr. R.K. Garg, Petronet LNG. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to put our hands together for Mr. P.K. Bajpai, BHEL. Now time for, I think, my best award because I'm a feminist. So best woman CFO and the nominees are Pratibha K. Adwani, NIIT Technologies, P. Ali Rani, Container Corporation of India Limited, Neeta S. Revankar, Saskin Communication Technology Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, Put your hands together for this lady, P. Ali Rani, Container Corporation of India Limited. It definitely feels great whenever we win an award. It's great, at least it's an acknowledgement uh, from the general public that you have done something. Uh, you have uh, your your efforts are paid off. Uh, it's recognition is always great. And let's move on. Enhancing competitiveness through M and A. The nominees for the same are S. Shankara Subramanian, Coromandel International Limited, Sandeep Puri, Fortis Healthcare Limited, and Sushil Agarwal, Aditya Birla, Nuvo Limited. And the winner is Mr. Sushil Agarwal, Aditya Birla, Nuvo Limited. And now let's move on to the next category, Commitment to the Triple Bottom Line. The nominees are Mr. P. Ganesh Godrej Consumer Products Limited, Suresh C. Senapati Vipro Limited, and Milan Sarvate Mariko Limited. And the winner is Mr. P. Ganesh Godrej Consumer Products Limited. I'd like to dedicate this award to the entire team at Godrej Consumer Products who have contributed to this achievement. And it's really the Godrej philosophy and its commitment to socially responsible causes, energy conservation. So, so it's really down to the Godrej philosophy and the Godrej way of working that it's become an inherent part of the way we do business. Congratulations and ladies and gentlemen, time now for the final award of the evening. We have had tonight 16 categories if I, if I have to be precise. Exemplary all-round performance. All winners of the various categories qualified for this award and the jury had a difficult time choosing the winner, I'm sure. So ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you India's best CFO and the award goes to Mr. Rajiv Tandan of ITC Limited. All the three gentlemen.
and Mr. Uh, Kumar, Mr. Puri, and Honorable Minister, you have to be on stage. For uh, there's a special release of business today. Gentlemen, you have to be on stage. Uh, we would do a group photograph with all the winners. And if all the winners with their beloved trophies, if you're not taking them, I'll take them home tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, with your trophies, on the stage for the group photograph. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Puri. Thank you, Mr. Kumar. CFO is a very important person in a, in a company. He actually not only looks at the finances of the company, he's also involved in the strategy and future investments of the company. So I think these are the people who are in the back room and they are people who should be recognized because they play a very important role in all these companies. And that, of course, impacts the whole economy. We recognize that uh, in today's environment, uh, CFO's role is getting increasingly strategic in driving uh, you know, the strategy of the organization. And uh, we thought that this would be a good platform to recognize the exemplary skill sets uh, and the value CFO brings to the organization. And that sort of led to the conception of this award about four years back.